We're just going to take the components out of the motherboard box now. That's got the drivers on it, which we'll need later. That's the manual. Now I actually took this manual out of there last night and I read it. Uh, so I know exactly what I'm doing now. It's always a good idea to read it before you start. So I've got an EIDE cable there and four SATA cables. And then this is the processor that we're going to be using, which is an Intel Core i7-920. So we can just get all that ready. I've also read the instructions for that as well. Before I remove the motherboard from the anti-static bag, I'm going to put the anti-static wristband on. So that just slips over your wrist and then that plugs into an electrical socket. So we can just remove this now. So there's a, a small lever on here that we need to press down and then lift up and then we can pull that plate up and we can remove that piece it's a good idea to keep that somewhere safe because if you ever need to uh, send your motherboard back you're going to need to put that back in it so we're now going to take the processor out of the packaging and grip it at the sides what you don't want to do is grip it underneath because you don't want to touch any of the uh, electrical contacts if you look in this corner it's got a, a small arrow and that correlates with an arrow on the actual motherboard so you know which way in it's going to go also, it's also got two lugs there and there which fit into the lug, the lug slots there on the CPU slot so it's virtually impossible to put it in the wrong way around So we're just going to lay the processor down in there, make sure it's seated correctly and we're just going to close that up. The heat sink on this particular model already has heat sink paste applied to it so you don't actually need to apply anymore. So all we need to do is place this on the processor and then lock it in position using these four pins and then plug in the power to it. And that's how easy it is. You just push the four pins in and that's it, it's secured now. 
If you ever need to get those out again, there is an arrow on showing you which way to turn it and if you do turn them, it will come loose again, you can pull it back off. When I came to edit the video, I realised that I'd uh, missed off installing the memory. So I've just uh, removed the cover again and I'm just going to show you how the memory goes in and out. It is actually quite simple. To remove it, you have to press the two tabs out at the sides and then that'll release your memory and then it can only actually go in one way because of that lug there so it will only go in one way so you just line it up with the slots and then just push it straight down and then just press, make sure the tabs are in at the end so that's most of the things done now on the motherboard so we're just going to move that back out of the way for a short while whilst we open the graphics card so we've got the instructions and then the graphics card and there's also a couple of uh, adapters in there if we need them and also the, the drivers that we'll need later on so really we only really need that piece to fit your graphics card you need to find a spare slot so obviously this is a, a new build we've got plenty we've got two so we're going to choose that one so we're just going to slot it in there And that's it, it just slots in. If you ever need to remove the graphics card, there's a small lever there that you need to press before you can pull it out again. And there's one there that you can clearly see. 